from Japan and we are back with another Daiso video. We did a video showing you some good souvenirs that you can get from Daiso. Um, and again, this is kind of, if you don't know what Daiso is, it's kind of like the equivalent to like a dollar store in America. So these are really, really affordable and really cute. Stuff from yeah. Daiso is just, I mean, Japan's so good at cute. So. It really is. And it's a lot better than like a kind of, I guess in the UK we have a pound shop. This is a lot better than any pound shop you can go right? to. So. The quality is better. Yeah. Quality. And the selection as well. You can yeah. get so much stuff. So we really recommend you check some out when you, if you come to Japan. The theme of this video is going to be kind of like stationary things yeah. or things like, that you would want on your desk, you know. Daiso is one of my favorite places to like buy the stock up my stationery. Same. So the first item is these post-it notes. Post-it notes. They were so cheap and they're really adorable as well. Yeah, these are Disney. Like, I'm surprised that you can like get really, really adorable little Disney princess yeah. memos for only 100 yen, right? Yeah. Like, so we've got kind of bigger ones here up the top which you can use for like little notes and things. And these are good, like, when I was still a student, I used to use these for my textbooks. Yeah, like, like marking pages. Yeah, marking pages. These are good for, like, a student or even, you know, working in an office. You can yeah. add a little cuteness to your day. <laughs> Especially if you're the kind of person that would, like, leave notes for other people. It's just yeah. a cute way to, like... What's good about, like, this is that they're not, like, um... They're not loose. They're, they're like, not stuck loose. to the cardboard. And you can also, like, fold it like this to store. Yeah, it's so convenient, like so, so if you have like um, a planner or something, you can like tuck it in. That's it's such a Japanese thing, yeah. to just make it very convenient, portable. And it's so cute, you've got like a little book with like Disney princesses on it. So, what do we have next? Highlighters. I actually got these like, <laughs> for yourself. <laughs> yeah. So these are like in pastel colors as well. Five, yeah, five different colors. Um, super cute, good for like, again, students especially, like good for color coding and yeah. stuff like that. Five highlighters for 100 yen is super cheap. Such a good deal. So we have blue, green, yellow, orange, and pink. cute and pastel. Same, and it's easier for when you're like writing stuff to see it because sometimes like, especially usually with blue, you can tell I'm really into station. <laughs> <laughs> but usually like the blue is very dark, but this one is pastel so you can see on the True. Bit, so. Yeah, so those are really cute and fun. Our next item is this masking tape, which for washi, washi tape? Washi tape, I was about to say. Yeah. Masking tape, it's, it's labeled as masking tape. But in America, at least, masking tape is very different. Yeah, like DIYs and stuff like that. But this is, these are super cute. And I know people who are into bullet journals really love using these to make little like sections and stuff. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh, it has like a, wow. This is really like, these, this is different to normal. Like, I wonder if they can tape. It's got such a cute border. Right? This isn't like normal washi tape. <laughs> it's so cute writing New Year's cards or like Christmas cards. If there's like Christmas themed ones, you can use it as like a border inside your card and things like that. Yeah, that would be so cute. Aw. And this is again, just 100 yen. Yeah, just 100 yen. Sad. And also it's very easy to take off stuff. Yeah. Also, if you live in a Japanese apartment, or even if you don't, if you want to get around like putting stuff on your walls, you can use this and it'll come off and it won't yeah. make a stain or like any damage to the wall. I mean, not for all houses, so don't like hold me accountable yeah. if you ruin your house. Or don't get your deposit back, but generally in Japanese apartments, like it's very, it doesn't damage the wall or like mm, yeah. plaster, so you can use this to hang up stuff, not right? Hang up, but like piece stuff up as well. Right. Washi tape is also good to kind of mark your umbrella. So like, uh, if you, yeah, yeah. If you like keep, <laughs> if you keep your umbrella in a place where other people's umbrellas are stored, you could put that around yeah. the handle to kind of identify that this one's yours, which is really common in Japan because yeah. people often buy them from convenience stores, and those all look the same. Yeah, that's true actually. I've seen that. I've actually done it myself. Same. Well. It's a nice way to like personalize yeah. stuff. I guess you could do it for like, anything to yeah. personalize it. So yeah, we recommend this like just any washi tape. Yeah, that's just one example. There's obviously like thousands, millions of different kinds of washi tape. What do we have next? We have... 
these pens. Yeah. These aren't just any old pens. I'm so excited for these. <laughs> these are scented pens. Glittery. Oh my god. got glitter in them. I'm very, getting very nostalgic for my school days. <laughs> these. Oh wow. Okay, so they have these little like stoppers on the end of the pen. So if you buy something like this, be aware if it doesn't work when you write. It definitely smells very artificial. I can't smell anything. I wouldn't have guessed strawberry. Let's try to like write and see if we can smell it after we write. Oh, you can smell it when you write. Oh, wow, that is very pungent. Wow. <laughs> the other one is lemon. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it smells like, uh, in America, Lysol. Do you have that in the UK? It smells like a cleaning product, like a lemon, like a wood cleaner. <laughs> Next one is green, which is melon. Melon, which is such a Japanese yeah, it's probably like flavor. honeydew melon rather than watermelon. Yeah, it's got the kind of... Japanese melon yeah. on the picture. The little sprout. Is that melon? I... Doesn't really smell like melon to me. It smells quite fresh compared to the other ones. It kind of smells like melon. It still smells like a cleaning product to me. Yeah. Like it's not slightly fun. melon, I guess. But as melon as it can get. They definitely are scented. Yeah. I mean, you can definitely scented. smell something. Okay, the next one is blue ink. It's apple. Which is kind of interesting because in Japanese, green apple is yeah. alodingle, which is blue. actually blue apple. Yeah, but let's not get into that. <laughs> like traditionally, um, green was referred to as blue, basically. Yeah, Long confusing. story short. Like before they recognized green as a color, they just called it blue. <laughs> Doesn't work. It kind of smells like, you know, that kind of fake apple smell. Oh, I think I like this one the most yeah, so this far. Yeah, nice. I wouldn't necessarily say apple, but it does. I, I can see it. I like get it. You know the taste of like that candy apple sweets and things. Yeah, it's like an artificial plus kind of like a cleaning scent for all of these. <laughs> it's not a bad smell though. I quite like it. No, yeah, it's better than not than no scent. And the last one is grape. Oh my gosh, that smells like grape. That's it. That smells the most like oh, the wow. real thing. Yeah, I feel like grape is like a very common. It's like easy to, yeah. yeah. This is actually my favorite because this smells like the most like grape. It smells like the sweetest. And I think it's like more like kind of Japanese grape, which are really big, rather yeah. than like what they call like the white grapes or like- Oh yeah, so definitely a purple grape. So we're showing you what the colors look like and kind of how they write. They're pretty smooth. Yeah, they are actually. I'm kind of surprised. Wow, you really can't see the color. <laughs> Lastly, we have this is drum roll, please. <laughs> a calendar. I love this so much. Same. Can you believe we got this from the dollar store? A Hello Kitty calendar and like, yeah. I guess you've noticed as well as the Disney stuff. There's a lot of like licensed characters that you can buy. Yeah, like Disney princesses, so, Sanrio. This is a desk calendar, so you can. It comes like this, but you can flatten it out. Yeah. They have some really cute designs this year as well. I went the other day. They have really? um, Gridetama, <gasps> cute little twin stars, Hello Kitty, some Disney ones as well. The one I'm using now is Cinema Roll. Yeah, my one's Disney <laughs> from, from, from Daiso. Daiso. Yeah. So it sits like this. So cute. So the cover looks like this, and then it it actually gives you a preview on yeah, the back, but months. we'll show you. It's so detailed, like yeah, more than a hundred yen. So it's going out of order because you would turn the calendar around to get the yeah. following month. So we'll, we're doing them out of order, but just so you can see what the months look like. If you see here, they've also, in Japanese, they've got like the date, like the holidays and stuff. Yeah, Japanese holidays, yeah. So cute. The red means that you would have the day off yeah. in Japan. Ooh. <laughs> Japan actually has a lot of days off, it's good for us. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, so that's it. Oh, it's so cute. So yeah. But they come in lots of different varieties, like I said earlier, like a lot of Sanrio ones. Generally the cal calendars, like you can get kind of character ones, but you can also get like plain ones as well, and calendars that you can kind of like hang up. Family right. calendars as well, so all at Daiso. All at Daiso. And you can also get ones you can like lay out and write on at your desk as well, so. Yeah. So all these things were only 100 yen. 
Yep. And obviously Daiso, Daiso offers a lot more than just this. And also the stuff we show today, you might not necessarily be able to get in Daiso if you go, because they change their stock quite often. But you'll definitely be able to find like a lot of good stationery stuff there. For so. sure. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, it was super fun. Tune in next time. We're going to show you some more stuff from Daiso. Again, watch our souvenir video if you yeah. haven't seen that. And see you next time. See ya. Bye.